I've been collecting my empties for the past few months and I'm gonna give you a very detailed review on them oh, so you know if they're worth it to get or maybe you should skip on them. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Patty. Let's review some empties, shall we? For this video, we're gonna focus on hair care and I'll do a part two reviewing my makeup, skincare, and body care empties. Starting with the Curlsmith Multitasking Conditioner, I love this product. It's the second tub that I finished and as an influencer that gets sent a lot of products, that says a lot, right? And the first one that I finished, I actually used it to hold my makeup, which I'm probably gonna do with this one. So I like that it's very like, recyclable i just love it because it's so versatile you can use it as a conditioner a deep conditioner and a leave-in conditioner so it's kind of like a three-in-one product although i tend to mainly use it as a deep conditioner it seriously leaves my hair so smooth and silky right after washing it you know those old school hair commercials when they take their hair off of like a bun or like a hair tie or something and then their hair just comes down so silky and smooth and just like shiny and glowy yeah that's exactly how i feel after using this like, after rinsing it it as like a conditioner or deep conditioner so yeah i just fell in love with it sometimes i leave like a little bit to use like as like a leave-in conditioner and this product comes from their strength recipe line so it's supposed to strengthen your hair it's perfect if you have damaged hair or just like weak hair in general it has wild rice protein and a bunch of oils and butters to help with conditioning like castor oil babas oil jojoba oil shea butter oh and the smell oh my god it's divine that's all I can say. I can't describe it. I wouldn't say it lingers, but it's definitely strong as you're applying it. But it's not going to stay after you like, do your whole hair routine. This is also very convenient if you travel a lot because, I mean, it's literally a three-in-one. So if you want to save some space when you travel, I'm telling you, get this one. Highly recommend this one. Next, we have the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. I mean, do I even need to introduce Miss K18? She's that girl. If you've been following me for a while, especially on Instagram, you know I love these treatment it's my favorite bond building or repairing product out of everything that i've tried and i actually posted a breakdown of the other ones i tried on my instagram if you want to check that out but yeah i believe this is like my fourth maybe fifth bottle I lost count already. I don't know, my hair just truly looks and feels strong and healthy after using it consecutively. And as you know, I get my hair color refreshed at the salon frequently. So I like to use this back to back around the time that I'm gonna get my hair done. That's probably why I finished so much of these. And yes, it's tiny, but it's mighty. It's very, very concentrated. I only use about two to three pumps for my whole hair. It's very easy to spread it out. And I also like that they have a lot of research behind it compared to like the other bond building repairing products that I've seen. Now it is more on the expensive side, I'm just gonna warn you. So I would only really recommend this if you have severely damaged hair, like heat damage color damage bleach damage or if you're like someone like me who gets their hair color done frequently also if you're going through a transition from like straightening your hair to wearing it curly this is gonna make a huge difference for your hair it's totally worth it now let's talk about this redken frizz dismiss shampoo okay so this one i like it it's a great shampoo it lathers well and it's safe for color treated hair which is very important for me obviously but it's not really a very strong shampoo, which can be a good or bad thing depending on your lifestyle, right? So hear me out, okay? For the most part, I only end up washing my hair once a week, even though I should really be washing it twice a week. But regardless, by the time that I wash my hair and especially my scalp, it's so dirty and like grimy because obviously like I use a lot of styling products during wash day and then I work out and I do all these things. So yeah. This shampoo is just not enough for that. It's just too gentle. And I even tried shampooing twice and my hair and scalp still feels dirty and there'd be like white stuff left on my roots, which I think is just like build up. Now, if you're someone who washes your hair every day or maybe every other day, I think you would like this shampoo because it's gentle enough where it's not gonna strip your hair and it's not gonna strip your color if you have colored hair. This would be perfect. But if you're someone like me, don't even bother. Now let's move on to the Fable and Main Holy Roots Hair Oil. Over the past year, I've really gotten into hair oiling my scalp before I wash my hair. And this one has been my go-to. I'm actually on my second one right now. I just put a few drops on my scalp and massage with it. I also would put a little bit on the length of my hair. And sometimes I detangle that way. Because I usually like detangling my hair when it's dry versus in the shower when it's wet. Adding some oil really just helps with the slip on detangling. It's supposed to nourish and hydrate your scalp and my scalp is dry as fuck, so I need this. It also has claims for hair growth, but 
I don't know if that's proven enough. If anything, I think it's the act of like massaging your scalp that gets like the blood flow circulating in there, which helps with hair growth. I also feel like it just lifts the buildup on my scalp if I have any. And sometimes I would do like my whole hair oiling routine and then I would braid my hair and put a hat on and then go to the gym and work out and just let it marinate while I'm working out, you know? And then when I get home, that's when I wash my hair. But the direction says you can leave it for at least five minutes or overnight for best results. I can't really describe the smell of it, but I think I do smell castor oil a little bit. But it also has ashwagandha and dashmo. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Yeah, I don't know. Something about this just feels very therapeutic. And the texture is also very, very lightweight, which I love with oils. Because I feel like if they're too heavy, like just like a jojoba oil by itself, you know how that's like very, very like thick and heavy? I don't like those oils. So this one is great. And also, I need to talk about this because I feel like there's a lot of hairstylists that will tell you not to use oils and like oils are bad and it can build up on your hair and on your scalp which is true it can but i'm not really worried about that because i make sure to really wash it off when i shampoo and i only do it before i shampoo so it's not like i'm using it every day and i also use clarifying shampoo once in a while to really get everything out so yeah i feel like as long as you're properly washing your hair you don't have nothing to worry about. And Fable and Maine is actually an Indian founded brand, which is where hair oiling as a practice really originated from, I believe. So it's nice to support a truly authentic brands like them. But speaking of hair oils, this is the one I was using before I ever tried the Fable and Maine. This is from JVN and it's the complete pre-wash scalp oil. I'm not quite done with it yet. They feel very similar. It's also like a super lightweight um, product as you can see. It almost feels like water. But yeah, I would say this is a second favorite after the Fable Me. Next we have another Curlsmith product. It's the Miracle Spray and it's a good product. I mean, it's a heat and environmental protection spray and you're supposed to spray it after you apply your leave-in conditioner but before your styling products but i'm not gonna lie sometimes i forget and i end up spraying it at the very end before i diffuse which i don't know if it works the same way but yeah it's supposed to protect up to 230 degrees celsius which i think it's enough for diffusing with heat because that's what i use it for but i don't know if it's enough if you're gonna use it to like straighten your hair or like do a blowout i feel like you would need a higher degree of protection you know what i mean but obviously it also protects your hair from the sun it's basically a sunscreen but for your hair and it's also supposed to protect it from seawater chlorine and pollution which honestly i'm not really sure how but i actually brought this to vacation with me when i went to mexico we went to the water a lot and we were also out under the sun like all day every day and i feel like it prevented my hair color from fading too much i also just like having that peace of mind that my hair will be protected while i'm on vacation this is a travel size but i also finished a whole um regular size product and it also has protein because it's from the strength recipe line the same line as the multi-tasking conditioner it has the same scent it's like a very diluted and watery leave-in type of consistency so i also like that it's very very lightweight but yeah overall i would recommend now for the last product we have the love yourself sulfate free shampoo and i love this shampoo i've talked about this a lot on my instagram if you follow me there something about this shampoo just does it for me you know like it's not too gentle like the redken one but it's also not too strong that it feels stripping it has like a very jelly like texture and it's clear and it lathers really really well and i love that about shampoos like imagine if you put more water here amazing the main surfactant here is a sodium c14 olefin sulfonate which i believe is a stronger surfactant than the redken one so that makes sense and the other key ingredients are shea butter and moringa oil i believe it's also safe for color treated hair i think you would really like this if you're someone like me who only washes their hair once or maybe twice a week and you use a lot of products on your hair a lot of styling products and maybe you get a lot of buildup. I would recommend this one. I don't know if I would recommend this to someone who washes their hair every day, if that's you, but I guess it still depends. If you have like really, really oily scalp, your scalp gets greasy like the next day, then maybe try it out. And also let me tell you about the scent because it just smells so good. And this one, if you also use the conditioner, which I've also finished 
one conditioner but i don't have it right now the scent will stay on your hair like even after you're done washing which i love because i love the scent so that's something to consider if you don't love the scent then you would probably hate this and that's it for this video let me know if you tried any of the products we talked about if you like them or maybe hated them and if you want to try any of the products they're all linked so you can easily find them and yeah stay tuned for my next video this skincare and body care empties are piling up so i'll be posting that soon i also have like a lot of japanese um skincare products that i finished so if you're interested in that then watch out for my next video don't forget to like this video okay bye